Hey guys, Chris is back with his car. We've set everything up. He used it for a while now and we just want to go through all the little details of the electric build and also some other stuff and also hear some of your opinions about it and yeah. see how you like things. Yeah. So uh, first thing that I will point out is obviously our main installation where we've got uh, we've got the manager in here uh, with the Red Vision display. We've got charge ports here. There's a flexible Hella light in here that goes red, white, also dimmable. That is quite cool because this is your working area here with your desk. How does that work? Did that work the way yeah, you wanted right. it to? Yeah, probably actually. Um, better than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Um, just as a workspace, like being able to put all my batteries and charge my batteries, but I also like set up my gimbal on here and yeah. for other ah, cool. sort of, yeah, I mean, you can set up your lunch on here, whatever you want. But, nice. And then just having all the power so, yeah. so local to it. That's cool. Just, yeah, it works so good, eh? Like it's, for anyone that doesn't need all three seats, it's a great use of that space. That I is reckon. cool. Yeah. Um, so does that work for you for editing? Yeah, yeah. So I can plug my Mac in uh, yeah. straight into, well, I've got this yeah. little little brick there that's cool because um, we we also put a 2000 watt inverter in yeah where you yeah, yeah you can charge on yeah, anything yeah, of that yeah. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't had a problem with the charging like I yeah mean, it's actually now i used to charge a lot of my stuff i would come home yeah and then put it into the house and then charge it in the house yeah now I just leave it in the car oh really cool yeah yeah, yeah. just leave it on all the time that's I'm brilliant using my car every day so yeah. and you can't forget it that way I, I don't forget it and it just leaves all my work in the car which i like yeah <laughs> that's sort of worried yeah about. exactly that's so, right and if i'm you know if i need to download vision at the end of the day i just kind of yeah. do every this is basically my workstation now that is cool you know, so i mean that's that's what we planned that's yeah. what it should yeah. be and it's 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 awesome mate. It's, it's that's cool yeah i like how rob built this this is such a good idea yeah it's a brilliant yeah brilliant. How, how do you like the red vision display uh the the presentation of the information on there um yeah, look, I only, it's, it's such a basic sort of system. I only really look at the percentage and I've, I've linked up the app now so yeah. I can sort of see. Oh, that's cool. Um, but I, to, I'm not much of an electrical person. So yeah. for me, I just look at it and go, oh yeah, 85%. You know, yeah, it's battery is green. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all good, you know, like it's all <laughs> That's cool. But there's not much else. It's, yeah. You, the way you've built it, it's really, um, it's not much to me. No and it should be all you have to really look at should just be the percentage yeah. and you just go yep we're good to we're go, good to go. Yeah. how do you like the national lunar Amazing. light we put on here yeah, this is so cool i know we put one at the back but this yeah. was an area that wasn't sort of getting lit so i mean we had that discussion about where to put it and yeah it, um, i think this is a great spot and we've connected it obviously into the back of the yeah what do you call this box like the, junction box. the junction box yeah for yeah. so yeah. what we do with uh, roof wiring on cars is usually we run a seven core into a junction box on the roof and from there we do another power distribution just for the roof rack and the parts on the roof and then a big plug on the back so if you want to take the roof rack off you just unplug the junction box and you can take the whole thing off mm. and yeah that's where we tap this one yeah. into as well yeah and it's good, good it's not on batteries i think fact yeah exactly it's, on, it's wired in um and then having those two different colors the white light and also the the um goes <laughs> on. Yeah, yeah, you just hold yeah. it yeah, and then it changes over. Yeah, having those two different color lights. I mean, that was, that's great for setting up, but once you set up camp, having that... that you change yellow. it to orange, yeah. Yeah, it's just more of a relaxed mood and I think it keeps the insects away a little bit. It does, bit, a so. lot. And the cool thing is with the National Lunar Lights, that orange is exactly the same color as a bonfire. So you find in winter when you set that up, yeah. you know, this light where it melts into the bonfire light, mm. you can't see where one Actually, starts and the other yeah, one stops. Yeah. yeah. And That's then the light in there as well. That is freaking awesome, I think. The, yeah, the flexible. They are quite expensive, yeah. but for a flexible, what do you call them? Gooseneck or swan neck light? Yeah. 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 They are the best ones that we could find. And they, they actually, they last. Mm. But I use that a lot. That's, you know, just for finding gear. We film a lot at night. Everyone knows Ronnie. Obviously I do the filming for Ronnie and he's often getting into camp quite late. Yeah. So, you know, we're filming sometimes till 10 o'clock. So having that just to be able to, set my gear up and before that it was on the back seat and it was fucking really hectic <laughs> there was stuff everywhere yeah you know? so it just made it's, it just organized my workflow a lot better oh that's cool so that's it's been brilliant that's cool it's also the first time that we've put a national lunar light on an awning we never really had an idea where and how because everything moves on an awning all the time but then we thought you know what let's just put it underneath but still in a way that when you pack it up, it's covered because these are not waterproof. You can't mount them outside usually. But I think this spot here, right under the backbone 
mm. works so well. It's protected. It's not going to get hit by anything. Uh, yeah. I think we're going to do this more often. And then you just flick that under, like you, I think you saw yeah. showed me the first time. You just flick that yeah, just that. It's, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Cool. Uh, we've also got a 150 amp hour lithium battery in there on the other side and everything's linked together. The big inverters here, inverter switches here. You can also plug in a solar blanket here, but you don't really use solar a lot, don't you? I haven't, I haven't, because I'm, yeah. This will be the first trip I'm coming coming up where I'm actually going to be spending a few days Yeah. as a holiday on a beach. So yeah. I'd be really interest, interested to see how much power I use and if I actually need a solar yeah. panel. Um, so, um, but yeah, most of the time I'm working and I'm, this car's getting used daily, so it's not, it's so always, it's always just charging. And I was amazed how quickly it charges the battery. That's like the, within, yeah. I was going from 60, you know, using it all night, 65%, you know, charging all my lithium batteries, um, lights on, lights on the back. Yeah. Um, you know, an espresso coffee machine, whatever. Um, within two hours the next day of driving, 100%, it's back up again. Yeah, yeah so it's good. it seems to charge really quickly. That's the good thing about lithium batteries. They don't have this 20% uh, at the end where the charge just trickles in mm -hmm. and it gets slower and slower and slower. They just take full charge almost till the end cool, and right? then it just stops in their form. Mm. Do you want to have a look at the back? That's, that's great. Cool. So we... We put another light here on Prados. This is usually a spot where we always put a National Lunar light because you open the door and you can pretty much light up this whole area. It's a spot, everybody loves that there. And you can also set that to orange, which uh, is my favorite light color at camp, cool, that uh, one really. Yeah. It creates a, a good sort of chilled mood. It really does. Yeah, cool. And there you can see what I was just talking about, the junction box where you can see you can just disconnect it, take the roof rack off and all the wiring on the roof rack just goes into the junction box so you haven't got any connections uh, directly on the roof rack. It's all just in that junction box, well protected and just in case something fails you can just pull a single cable out, reconnect it in there, run it back into the roof rack and you're done. That's cool. uh, compressor is over there. We put an ARB twin piston compressor into the side panel and this is quite tricky because you got the VX model mm. with the subwoofer in there and there is no bracket that fits that compressor. So what we've done is we've modified the ARB bracket to put the compressor in there and we mounted the tank underneath the car so we got some bulkhead fittings in there so the compressor pumps up the aluminium tank which is in a protected spot under the car and the outlet goes back in there. That works really well. Yeah, I think. Cool. I haven't seen that anywhere before, but uh, a lot of people have asked, how can you actually get the ARB twin in there? there? There is a way, you just have to know a few tricks. It's clever, uh, but it does work. The tank underneath. Yeah, be because the big subwoofer, it takes up yeah, all the so room in that panel, yeah. yeah. That is actually, is such a cool kitchen. It is the quick pitch. Has that got a special name or do they just call it the quick pitch Thank kitchen? Well, That is so cool. A bit more warmth to it as yeah. well. So that's that is great. Cool. And we made sure for the wiring for the fridge, we put a CNC track in here. So this kitchen doesn't come from Quick Pitch with this, but we retrofitted it so you can make sure that you actually don't pinch the cable while pushing the fridge in and out. So since since you've got that big inverter, yeah. what, what are you planning with it? Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know if I've gone a bit overboard on it, to be honest. Like I'm as much as I can really. um, some of the luxuries of everyday yeah. life. Yeah. Um, so I actually just bought an ice machine. So nice. <laughs> quite, quite a bulky little thing, but yeah. I just figured, you know, with the bar out, I'm calling it a bar now, but um, yeah, being able to make uh, cocktails and, you know, how cool is that? That'd be awesome. Oh, I, I always take an ice machine. I never yeah, go yeah, camping right. without yeah, it. Yeah. It works so well. I'm really, um, yeah, I'm keen to give it a go. See yeah. What it's like. But I've got an espresso in here. Um, yeah. Which yeah, I use every morning. That's been awesome. And I've yeah. just put a Nutribullet in here as well. That's cool. Yeah. Um, and you've got the, what we did is we got a power board uh, Velcro to the side here that goes to the inverter. The good thing about the Velcro is just in case you have to relocate it, you can just rip it off, put it somewhere else. But I think you mainly keep it on the side there. Yeah, yeah. it's been good there. Yeah. This is like I use this as a workspace here. So yeah. Yeah, you know, you can set up an espresso here, you yeah. your kitchen here, and in the morning, just make coffees. Or, oh, great. 
Yeah, so this is sort of like a nice little work space. Yeah. You've got the power right above it, so can't cool. make, it works really well. Yeah. yeah. It's been great. You have to let me know how you go with the margaritas. <laughs> I bought the ingredients last night. So. Ah, nice. Yeah, yeah. That'll Thanks be good. Cool. Yeah, let's it. let's have a look on the other stuff of the roof rack. So what we've what else uh, is here is uh, we've got uh, the Light Force <laughs> Rock 20 lights all the way around. First we had them on the roof rack, but then the awning came later, so we had to relocate this side a little bit because it was interfering with the awning. This light here was particularly tricky. Yeah. Look how much it just misses it's the door. Yeah, <laughs> if you crazy. have a look from right here, <laughs> you like can see it looks like it's gonna how this door just moves around the light basically and the front door just yeah. clears it by a mill so there's one little tiny spot just in case you're doing this where you can mount this light on the side still and it clears the doors but it took us a while to figure that one out and uh they've got like little rubber I yeah know, actually this one i don't know it's so much but they we put little rubber pads on this yeah. one it's hard to see yeah, the rubber pad is in there as well what we do is uh we put the rubber pad in and then we tighten it with a nylock nut so you can still adjust the light yeah, a little yeah. bit because sometimes yeah. you go like, I'd rather have it there, yeah. there, so that way you can still mm. move it. There's another two on the other side. And then in the front here, we have fitted two 20 inch light force light bars on the roof rack for some extra vision when nighttime driving and also two HDX2 driving lights uh, how how you go with the performance of the lights? Yeah, but I've only used them once. I mean, for um, the trip I recently did. Yeah. And um, they were great. Um, yeah. Compared to what I had previously on my Hilux, which was just a single little light bar at the front. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. This is like daytime now, isn't it, when you turn yeah, them on? it's crazy. It's really good. Um, cool. Yeah. So look, there's not a lot to see under your bonnet, really. So all we've done here is We've got the power supply to the back, then we've got the power supply for the driving lights and the power supply for the light bars. And we still got a spare fuse just in case you've got something else coming up in the future. And that is really it. Mm. There wasn't a lot to do. So yeah. we try to interfere as little as possible. Uh, these are the other Light Force Rock 20 lights. We usually set them up in a way that if you want to do nighttime four wheel driving, you can turn front, left and right hand side on so uh, you eliminate that dark spot that you usually get when you pass something where you can't look or can't see out of the side anymore. So these are quite handy if it's pitch black and you're driving past something that is quite steep you don't want to fall into, you turn the side light on as well. And if you have to see what's happening in the rear view mirror, you can turn the rear ones on as well. And all of those are switchable from the cab from the driver position so while you're driving you can turn them on and off as you need them i just noticed a few th more things that you did <laughs> so no going yeah. up here um but just quickly i want to say as well like it, it, i think i love the fact that it's really clean lines and you haven't sort of got wires hanging out and that like it's everything's really just yeah. slick and clean and i think that's kind of the look i was after so oh that's cool yeah, that, that's really the look that we just, like as well just, to have yeah, on there. yeah you can't really see wiring or anything i love that um, the radio, you, you, you put the radio on as well. Ah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Uh, we've also installed a GME XRS 390. I think you were one of the first people yeah, well, in Australia to yeah. get one. Yeah, it's, it's uh, waterproof. So when I, you know, when you sink the sink car, the, car it's, the two way will it's be, good to you know can still call help. Be working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, we used the K on bracket in the back here and put the area in the back of the car so you don't have anything right in front of your face how, how do you like it in the back here it's good um i think um i'm usually at the back of the convoy yeah so it does probably affect me a little bit just but the car blocking it yes to, to the front vehicles yeah but um look it's not it's you know we're talking we're pretty close usually we're not traveling too far away but yeah. but it will block it a little bit as you can see but you can always get um a higher aerial and I have that's I met, right you can get a swivel bracket to yeah I met, just I met someone at the four drive show that said you can actually yeah, get that swivel yeah. bracket a lot so of people can, do because mm. around town you can then just have it folded it, down yeah. yeah and it just brings you above the roof but I, you know once I've got my rooftop tent on as well that blocks it again so it's True. you know um, but yeah, and usually everybody you want to talk to is within a kilometer anyway no, totally. and that's yeah. that's fine you're not really gonna call for help 
No, nah, with that one. With a yeah. with a UHF. Yeah. <laughs> so, <don't> know, okay. <laughs> uh, how do you like the location of the switches? Does that work for yeah, you? Yeah, good. So where I'm setting up the cam, yeah. which is on the other side of the vehicle where the awning is, yeah. and we've put the rock light switch on this side. So, yeah. Because that's a light, you know, instead of me having to really, you know, yeah, get you. Get around the other side of the steering wheel. I can yeah. just sort of flick in there. So we made that decision to put it on that side for that reason. Yeah, so that's right. That's quite, where you want it. It's just accessible. Yeah. You know, that's, that's the beauty. So, um, and the other one you use more when you're actually driving. Actually driving so it's on the other or, side. Yeah. 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 So it's just, yeah, a little, little bit of thought put into where we put things and that, that's why yeah. I like switches in multiple spots because then you can say you know what this light is usually used for that purpose mm. and I'd like to have to switch there because that's mm. where I'm going to be using it yeah most of the time yeah well awesome thank you very much for showing us through thanks Appreciate thanks it. for the you know doing all the power work. it's been the whole process has been so good yeah it's been seamless yeah it's been cool. great and the support from you guys has been you know you know if I'm I've been back a few times just adjusting stuff because it hasn't yeah. quite worked for me or whatever yeah. and you guys have been really flexible with that so thanks very much cool not a problem at all <laughs> I think there's only one thing left now you know since since it's all done now pick, pick a spot man there's plenty uh, of uh, carpet you, you get the official that looks pretty good there ready to drive anywhere mate <laughs> I think I am <laughs> cool